Hello and welcome to a brief video on how to record receivables with the ledger. And as you know, a receivable is basically income that you've earned, but you haven't received the money. So in order to record that, you simply would choose the month where you expect the money to come in. Let's say you're expecting to be paid in March sometime. So you could go to March and put in the approximate date or maybe leave it blank with no date. It's up to you. Then instead of choosing the account because we haven't received the money, we'll choose receivable at the very bottom of the type list. You'll notice the row highlights. So for easy reference, when you click on a month, you can easily see the receivables that you have. And when you're choosing receivable, you always, always choose the income category because that's the only category that really makes sense on a receivable. You're, you're waiting to receive income. So let's say it's an outstanding bill or invoice and we put in our amount. Okay, you're going to notice that on the right side it did not record it as income. And of course you haven't received it yet so it won't. Once you receive the money then you can go back to this entry you can then choose the account that you actually put the money into. Let's say it's savings account. You can finalize a date and maybe the total amount that you received if you like. You can change your description, anything you would like, and then your entry is done. And then you're done. And just keep in mind that when you do have receivables, there's a little handy receivable total coming up right here. Total receivables, in this case $2,000, which is at the bottom of your summary report for Raisy Reference. And that's all there's to it.